What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back with my final Browns draft reaction of the 2022 draft. Seventh round, 246th pick. Browns are on the clock. Why do I have a feeling they're going to go with another Oklahoma Sooner here? Imagine if they did. <laughs> I don't think they will. Uh, I would love to see them go Justin Ross, but we already have two receivers. I'm not sure if we're going to go with a third receiver. I feel like it's going to be an offensive lineman. Or maybe someone for the secondary. But we should know here momentarily who the Browns took with the final pick in the draft. Of their draft, anyway. So, uh, let's see who it is. Dawson Deaton. Texas Tech. A center. Okay. Figured it was going to be offensive lineman. 6'5", 306 pounds. I mean, we got Nick Harris. You know, he'd be good depth. Not going to really go nuts over this. But yeah, we'll see, uh, you know, who the Browns look at getting an undrafted free agency. See if there's any household names that we go after. You know? But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for the Browns 2022 draft. You know, we didn't have a first round pick, but still, they were very busy. Especially today. They actually still made, what, six picks today? And they also acquired a couple picks for next year. One was in a trade earlier today. Like, straight up pick trade. And then they also traded away Troy Hill. And they got a pick in that as well for next year. So, that's really all I got. You know, we got a nice backup center. We'll see if he's able to stick around on the team. Got to remember, though, no more J.C. Treader. Nick Harris is now the man snapping the ball to Deshaun Watson. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, when it comes to undrafted free agency, I'm not going to make a video for every guy we sign. I'll simply just, like, tweet about who we sign and everything. And if there's any big names, I might talk about it in a video later on, but... I don't know if we're going to sign any big names. You know, we never usually do. But we'll see what Andrew Barry has in store for us in the undrafted free agent market. Because you know it's going to be crazy with some really good names out there. There's a lot of good players still out there that uh, teams could go get. But overall, if I had to give our draft a grade, I would probably give it a solid B, B+. Plus. It didn't start off that great. But I'll tell you one thing. Andrew Barry redeemed himself today. I mean, you got Perrion Winfrey, who I wanted. Bad. You also got his David Bell yesterday, too. That was a good way to end day two. You started off day three with a good pick. And then you proceeded to troll Sooners fans with a couple more selections. <laughs> oh, man. Andrew Barry, you're something else. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. And uh, now we get ready for camp season. So, of course, uh, if I hear anything else, like if I hear about us signing any guys, like free agents, so let you guys know. I know a lot of Browns fans want to know about Deshaun Jackson or Will Fuller. I have heard nothing about them recently. Of course, you got Jarvis Landry out there. We're waiting to see what happens with Clowney. There's a whole lot of news to come around here. And I expect free agency to pick up again now that the draft's pretty much over. So uh, with that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. And as always, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell, and um, let me know what you guys think of our draft down in the comments down below. So with that being said, I'm Crazy Dog, and um, this was fun. This was a lot of fun, even though we didn't have a first-round pick. So it'll be the same thing next year, too. No first rounder unless Andrew Barry gets aggressive and jumps into the first round next year. But yeah, we'll see uh, who we get in undrafted free agency. So with that being said, 
Crazy dog. Let's go, Browns. And I'm out.